And I'm sure we're all excited to see A.J. Ray make his NFL debut in Week 1 against the Cleveland Browns. But now, let's shift gears a little bit to the NCAA where there's a big story going on in San Antonio right now. The UTSA Roadrunners have jumped out to a 5-1 record to start the season, their best start in program history, and they've had to do so with two quarterbacks, and it's caused a bit of a quarterback controversy. They started the year with Evan Newton, their freshman quarterback, a true freshman, starting, and he he played very well. They got off to a 2 and 1 start and in week 4 he was hurt in the second quarter. John Simmons, the senior, came in, finished that game, started the next two games, and now UTSA finds themselves at 5-1. and one. Evan Newton has since come back from his abdominal strain. He says he's fine, he's practicing, he's ready to go if his name is called, but Coach Eric Taylor has given no indication so far of who his starter is going to be come this next game when they play number 13 in the nation, UCF. It's a very, very important game, and perhaps the biggest game in UTSA program history so far so who does Eric Taylor go with John Simmons a little bit more of a veteran he hasn't had a lot of playing time in his career he's played behind Eric Souza in prior years but he's played well so far he's progressed each game both quarterbacks are dual threats where as Newton's a little bit more dynamic out of the pocket John Simmons may have a little bit better accuracy inside the pocket and may have a little bit better accuracy deep down the field especially the stats don't really give an advantage to either one of these quarterbacks, but UTSA has shown they can win football games with either of these men leading their team. So who is the right guy for the job, guys? Leave your feedback below in the comment section. We'll see you against UCF when UTSA tries to get their sixth win on the year and get their first win in program history against a top 25 opponent.